first thing early in the morning, guys, before sunrise, and we get this beautiful rainbow trout. Look at that jig, guys, that I'm using. Beautiful colors, beautiful trout. Just starting the morning out here. Nice fight on this light tackle, guys, on this beautiful rainbow trout. This is my turn one for the morning, guys. My daughter did not have the record button on on the first two rainbow trout. So hopefully we can get this guy in and be number three for the morning. This will be the second one off of jig and then one off of power balls, power bait balls. So beautiful eating size. You could just tell still has a little bit of fight in them. Get a little bit of drag, let it go. A little fight. Just gotta finesse these fish right on in. So we can get them in here. I need a little net, Mars. Can you help me out? I don't want to lose this guy. Check that out guys, beautiful rainbow trout, check the hook set, see that hook set right there guys, perfect on that jig, just go ahead and pop them out, just like that, and let's go ahead and open up this pelican, pelican cooler, oh my, well, I'll be showing you guys a little bit later, but we do got our two, uh, two rainbows down there, this will be number three for the day, um, so yeah, beautiful size. Let's keep on fishing, guys. We got fish on, guys. Oh, absolutely, bro. You better believe it. You better believe it. Not too sure what we got hooked up here, guys. We got a lot of lightning rainbow or lightning trout running through here. I'm not sure if it is one. It's not, dang it. I'm trying to go after my first lightning and it's not happening. Beautiful though. Gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, a little dirty. Let's wash them off really quick. 
Look at that. That's absolutely epic. Beautiful color. Pink stripe down the middle. A hook set. Power bait balls using that chartreuse color. Garlic scent. This is uh, number four. About an hour fishing. That's what's up. Good job, man. You got my buddy, Marcel. First fish of the day. Good job, man. And I caught it off this beautiful handmade spoon. Check it out. Look at this spoon, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful colors. Go ahead and put them down, Cam. So okay. Can Looks like, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Leave it right here. Okay. This is handmade. Um, I forgot the dude that makes these. I'm sure if a lot of people use these around California, you know the guy. And that's what hit. First fish of the day. Good job, man. And it took Ernie to my secret spot. I don't take too many people to this spot. And he's, he's kicking my butt. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Rainbow. Yep. Good job, man. The lightning was coming after it, and he took it instead. We got Marcel and number two, Rainbow Trout guys, fishing out this beautiful cove or beautiful point out here at this lake. As you can tell, it's overcast. We're getting a cold front right now, and uh, right before the rain's about to hit, so. Dude. Thanks, brother. Right on, man. So we do it, guys. There it is, guys. Check it out. I'm trying to catch up to Ernie, man. He's kicking my butt. <laughs> Let's go. Good day, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? We actually just finished uh, slaying some fish. Just one rainbow trout away from limiting it out. And uh, I want to do a big shout out to my friend Marcel. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram, uh, Cali Boys Fishing. He actually brought me to this nice point. I haven't fished this lake in uh, probably in about two years, guys. So. Nice quality fish. We're going to be doing an awesome catch and cook back at the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed the fishing session. I'll see you guys back at the fillet table. Welcome back you guys. I told you guys we're gonna be at the fillet table, but right now we're just having rain problems right now in uh, California. So I already did go ahead and do um, gut, gut them up guys, clean them out, scored them, dried them up a little bit so they're ready to go. So one of the cool things that I do have around my area for fishing, uh, for freshwater fishing, especially catching rainbow trout, about 20 minutes or I could go an hour Either way, I could catch delicious rainbow trouts that they do stock in our waters and had a good time uh, with my friend out there. And at the same time too, I know you guys didn't see her, but my daughter was the one actually videotaping me. And she's actually behind the camera right now, so thanks babe for helping dad out. And um, so yeah, we're gonna be making a delicious catch and cook, uh, Thai cuisine style. So pretty much let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're gonna be do, using some uh, yellow cornmeal here, guys. Let's go ahead and move this. All right, so we got some yellow cornmeal and we're gonna be putting some uh, Tony Cash Ray's, uh seasoning. So we're gonna season up this, uh, this cornmeal. Use some Zatarain's cayenne pepper. and a little bit of paprika. Now let's give it a good mix. After uh, putting our seasonings into our cornmeal here, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go three different stations here. We're gonna have our uh, cornmeal with seasoning, and then we're also gonna be having our pink Japanese breadcrumbs here. So let's go ahead and pour these guys into our glass casserole. And then we're gonna have our egg wash. So first thing that we're gonna be doing 
Um, you guys did see them, they're all nice size rainbow trout. I did actually actually have to score them and cut them uh, just because they won't fit in our um, in our in our pan that we're gonna be deep frying them. So let's go ahead and put them in our in our cornmeal. I'm gonna get everything, it's inside, outside. After we done uh, breading up the, uh, the the fish here, we're gonna put in the egg wash and into the Japanese breadcrumbs here. So like how I said, I did have to do two of the rainbows. I did have to cut them in half. The other two, I just did the tails and just the head. So um, let's go ahead and uh, put this in the egg wash here. Let's completely coat him. Seasonings are gonna stay on there because I did pat dry the, the rainbow trout. And it gets a little messy here. I'm just gonna be using my hands. It's a little, works a little better. And then just let him drip a little bit. After he's done dripping, let's go ahead and put him in the, in the breadcrumbs. And then like I said, I'm just using my hand. Gonna be extra crispy as that cornmeal is already gonna be crispy after we deep fry it, but this is just gonna give that a, that extra that extra texture uh, inside the fish, uh, outside the fish, and it's gonna be so tasty, guys. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Beautiful coated. Let me go ahead and finish up, and we'll go to the next step. After we're done doing that beautiful preparation, guys, check this out, Cambry. Yeah. You get the finalized Japanese breadcrumbs, the cornmeal with the three seasonings that I added. So I'm super excited to test these out, guys. But first, let's go ahead and go outside and put it on the deep fryer. All right, we're actually in my garage, guys. Right now, like I said, man, I mentioned earlier, it is raining out, so we do have like a stove that we can use indoors. Well, it's indoor, outdoor, so let's go ahead and uh, use it. So first, First fish, guys, just place it nice and carefully. Beautiful. Yeah, put another one. I, hopefully, I could get three on here. I'm not too sure. Possibly. Maybe the smaller one here. Gotta push these back a little bit and gently. Yeah, that'll be perfect. He'll end up getting in, he'll end up shrieking. So we're gonna probably do another batch. So this is gonna be one batch and then we'll do the other batch. And then actually while this is cooking, we're gonna go do the little um, the Thai sauce that I'm gonna be showing you guys we're gonna be having on this delicious fish. We're gonna do this really quick uh, sauce that we're gonna be eating with our crispy fish. So it's a little Thai Thai sauce, Thai chili sauce. So we got, uh, let me go ahead and open these up. We got some Thai dried Thai chilies. Uh, those are about six chopped up right there. And um, a whole bunch of uh, fresh cut cilantro, two limes, and some fish sauce. So let's go ahead and uh, put these limes in. All right guys, so I did, I did use three uh, whole limes, so that's about the amount of juice that you want right there. And um, I'm gonna be putting the same amount almost as fish sauce. Uh, so let's go ahead and... That should be a good amount. And let's go ahead and add the two ingredients. The dried chilies, nice and spicy, and the fresh organic cut cilantro. Now let's give this a good nice mix. Get everything falling in love here. Fish sauce, lime juice, the Thai chilies, 
and the cilantro give it a good mix mix everything together completely this is going to taste so good with your crispy fish you can use this on any fish oh yeah you can smell the aroma of the fish sauce I mean, if, I love fish sauce, so this is actually, like I said, the Thai cuisine little little sauce with the with the fish going on that we have here, guys. It's going to be perfect. Check that out, guys. Beautiful. Smells good. It's going to taste good. Let's go, go, let's go back out with the fish. Let's go ahead and take these bad boys off the, off the grease. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Had them in here about six minutes. Go ahead and let them drain a little bit before we put them on the on this pan. And like I said, we got one more batch. Oh, one more batch. Oh, perfect, guys. Oh my God, look at this. What a drip. Look at that. Absolutely perfection. It smells delicious. Let's go ahead and put these guys. Beautiful. And these these last two that I'm going to be putting on are the ones that are actually whole um, rainbow trouts. I just cut the tails, like I said, and the head. Hopefully, we can fit these bad boys. I'm going to end up maneuvering him, but another five, seven minutes, they're going to be ready to go. All done guys, second batch. Beautiful, look at that beautiful golden brown. Smells good guys, I can't wait to actually try it, with, especially with that sauce. And we're actually gonna have white rice, I believe with some carrots and some corn. So let's go inside. All right, that's it guys. Let's go ahead and set up our plate. So we're gonna do our delicious rainbow trout. And right here, we do have white rice with some corn or we made white rice with some carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the carrot one. Let's go ahead and... There we go. And with our Thai, our Thai chili sauce, guys. We're gonna put it right on top of the fish. And also, we're gonna put it right there. So check that out, guys. Does not not look good. Look at that. Smells good. Get a little Thai flavor. Can't wait to try it. Look at that, guys. The presentation's beautiful. And I guarantee you, it's just as good. So let me go ahead and serve the fam, and we'll go ahead and taste it out. Finally at the table guys, serve the family. So, got this beautiful presentation. I did go ahead and add, I love this guys, chili garlic sauce. You can get it at your local grocery store. Love it like on my rice or whatever. So, first thing, let's go ahead and try this delicious rainbow trout. Look at if you guys can hear. Crispy. Let's go ahead and try it out guys. Let's get a nice little piece. Beautiful. Get a little bit of the meat, a little bit of that cilantro chili. Oh my God. The breading, unbelievable. Oh my God. That is so good, guys. I feel like you get a nice. Nice bigger piece here. Let's see. Beautiful. <clears throat> Look at that. Mmm. Now, of course, we always have a nice refreshment. 
mango modelo. Let's go ahead and try the little carrot right rice with the, some chili. Let's try that out. Definitely get that, that Thai cuisine with that cilantro um, chili sauce with the lime juice and fish sauce. Beautiful meal. Actually, it's probably one of my best meals for rainbow trout. Like I said, we have rainbow trout all near us. I have so many different recipes in my mind, but obviously I can only do one at a time. So I'm gonna definitely dig in. My whole family right now is actually digging in as we speak. Thanks again to my girl that's actually uh, recording me right now. And if you guys are new to my channel, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are new, thank you for watching. Leave comments, let me know what you guys like, recipes, anything like that. But like always guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.